hello lovely people welcome back to my channel so today i have this special recipe for you it's a bonus recipe and it's a shangri-la style meat pie yeah this meat pie when you eat uh, you chew your teeth including hey you chew your teeth man i'm sure it is just yummy amazing it is um i won't say it's flaky it's not flaky it is crumbly nice like oh christ forgive me let's just get into it let's get into it so we'll start by making our filling and i'm going to then um, use some um, potatoes in it so i've just cut these into small pieces you can use yam if you don't have potatoes so here i'm cooking it and what we're looking for is al dente so that um it's not cooked it's hard to the touch but then it's cooked yeah you can still eat it because we'll be baking it and we don't want it to mash it to be mashing in the filling so that's how it so you see it looks like half, sort of half cooked yeah it's firm to the touch so our filling we started make, to make our filling so here i've added some olive oil to my frying pan and my onions go in so it's just um not a lot of frying here just a little bit then in goes um, our meat you can use fish you can use minced chicken you can use tuna you can use whatever you want but here i'm using beef yeah so i'm going to season this with some of my spice blend and um, to make it taste nice and um some salt as well to taste as well so you just fry this and make sure that beef is cooked and that water can be gotten rid of with some flour so you add a bit of like a tablespoon of flour so that get rid of the juices and yeah so, and it also helps with thicken the the filling yeah so um all you need to do is to add some milk yeah so some milk will make it loosen up a bit and also it makes it moist so that once you've, you've baked it uh, it's not dry the filling is not dry you want it moist nice and moist yeah so um here i'm cooking it further to cook the meat ensure that all the meat is cooked and a bit more seasoning so we want tasty filling we don't want any bland filling tasty so that as you're eating you know that yeah this is shangri-la style meat pie so season it with some black more black pepper and more salt if it's needed yes yeah, so it's all to your taste and um, with the seasoning so here i'm adding my carrots and then i'll add my red pepper and my green pepper then um, once it's all mid, you know, mixed up and it's almost ready here it's almost ready just add your potatoes so your pieces of potatoes these are a kind of meat pie meat pie filling i used to get from shangri-la you eat it and you find pieces of potato or pieces of yam hey it's a nice cake okay. so now here um it's time for our pastry we're going to make our pastry for our meat pie and um, as you see i've already measured out my flour about 500 grams of flour and i'm showing this flour this butter yeah it's floral battery and if you're in the uk anytime you want to make meat pie trust me use this butter don't use any other butter this is the perfect butter for meat pie i have tried and tested. i've made meat pie for years i have tried and tested so many others and this is the perfect one yeah so the ratio is two is to one two flour is to one butter yeah so 500 grams of flour 250 grams of butter but then when you're using this flora battery you need to use 200 grams you have to reduce it because it's so rich otherwise it makes the dough unworkable you can't work with it you know it's very difficult to work with so ensure that you reduce it by just 50 grams or you can choose to use everything and then you try and work out the, you know, <laughs> the ruling bit is all on you. Yeah, it's on you. <laughs> so I added um, a quarter cup of water to bring um, the dough together and I'm going to chill it for about an hour. So just covered with the clink film um, to put in the fridge, chill it for an hour and after an hour, our dough is ready to roll, yeah? We are going to roll our dough. 
<laughs> and as you can see, we I encountered lots of problems with this um, dough because it was so rich. Even though I reduced the butter, it was rich. Yeah, so you have to be very patient with this. But then, it will pay off. Your patience will pay off. It will definitely pay off. Yeah. So I'm rolling my dough here, and then I will cut it out with um. I'll cut it out with I have this square bowl, random bowl around, and I try always to be creative with my meat pie. It's not always that you do it the semicircle way. So you cut it in a square, then you fold it diagonally, then you get a triangle. Or you can get two circles and put one on top, then you have circles. Or you do other things, you know, whatever you know, where you make it to look unique so that it's not always the same way, the semicircle style. But then that is the Ghana style. That's what we know. Yeah. Okay. So here you can see I'm just rolling out and I'm filling it with our filling, just filling it up and then covering it. Then sealing the sides with my fingers. Okay. I can use a fork to seal the sides. Um, normally I use the fork to seal the sides. If I'm making um, two kinds of filling, a fish and a meat pie, then with the fish I use the fork and with the meat I use my finger so I can differentiate it when it is ready. So um, yeah, that's another tip um, for you if you need to make different kinds of filling for the meat pie. So I'm still trying to roll this um, dough and yeah, it's it was a bit of a challenge, but then I think once you start to do it, you do it a couple of times, it becomes easier to do. And then um, I think the dough becomes a bit pliable. Yeah. Is there a word? Oh, I think so. If not, forgive me. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to, yeah, seal the sides here and it's pretty easy to do. You can make this and it's so delicious. Um, you'll think you're a pro. Yeah, this recipe, if you try it, you're a pro. But then, if you are not using the flora battery, then any butter you use, ensure that the ratio is 2 is to 1. Yeah, so say 300 to 150 um, grams of butter. So here I have another kind of square bowl that I, I tried to use. Yeah, it was a bit smaller, but yeah, it's, it's also square. So if you have any square bowl, you can use it all round. You can use it or rectangle. You can sometimes I make rectangle meat pies. Yeah, I have some bowl be that is rectangle. I use it and it comes out quite unusual shape. Yeah, but then it's it's cool because it's different. Yeah, and it's just eating meat pies, so it ends up with your tummy. You know, food is food. However it is, we don't want to starve. We just eat it. So I keep on rolling this. And here I want to show you when, you know, the last one that is so unusual. It's just last. You can't cut it into any shape. And it's just, you know, so I'm just trying to show you how I try and mold it to make it look like, you know, I've used um, a shape, a cutter to cut it or something. So I just try and work the dough to look as nice as possible then yeah as you can see me here trying to knock the corners in the size in to get a square shape <laughs> hey, <I say> well. <laughs> so that <laughs> i can get the pair i don't want any irregular shapes i hate irregular shapes in my meat pie so yeah but they turn out to be the best out of them i really like the i always like the you know atosia the last one i love it yeah so you can see yeah, I've tried and it looks, yeah, fantastic. So here, I'm just going to um, egg wash it <laughs> with milk. <laughs> I'm, here. I'm going to egg wash it, but I'm using milk. So I'm going to milk wash it. Yeah, but then you have to make some holes to let air release um, give some, you know, meat pie room to operate. Yeah, so we bake, we bake. Yeah, baking. Yeah, the big one. So here, I want to show you another way of just you know making your meat pie. So let's say you want to, you're making small chops and other things, and you want to include meat pie. So you make these mini pies. I call them mini pies. They are bi bite-sized pies. So one goes straight into your mouth. You can eat like ten equivalent of like five meat pie <laughs> something <laughs> without anyone. No, because they are so tiny. So yeah. So what I do is I, I 
I roll it out, I roll the, the dough out and I cut with a cutter, this biscuit cutter. Yeah, so biscuit cutter, these ones I have, they have two sides. The main cutting side is quite small and the opposite side, which I just showed, is big. So the big side is going to cover the small size, the, the small size of the like, circle. So as you see me do, um, I just you just get one of the small circles, one of the circle, and you just pop a little bit of your filling on, a little bit of your filling. Then you cover it with a slightly bigger circle. Then you seal the sides. So it just it just it's just fun to do. When you do, when you see it, it's like oh, it's too tiny, it's mini. Oh, it's going to take forever. But when you are doing it, it was it just it was fun. And you have kids who are like eager to cook and eager to bake and do things and get them involved they love it because it's so fun to do i love doing it i wanted to do more and more and more and more but then i thought you know life must go on it's not about me meat pie so i just you know did what was enough to show to demonstrate how you can do this yeah and this is very perfect for um small chops you know we do these mini snack bags for weddings engagements outdoorings yeah you just make them you put it in it's just amazing yeah you will actually think you will need to bake it for shorter time no you just went in with the other ones and they all came back the same well maybe that was at the bottom of my oven so maybe that's why but then you can just keep an eye on it so that doesn't burn so here i'm like you can't make meat pie without the circle you see i talk about the circle as if i don't do circles i do circles anyway so i've told you food is food you don't want to starve, so you have to do what did, you know, all other things. So I just thought, like, let me do normal shape meat pie so that you didn't think that I'm against normal shape meat pie. I am not against gra. It's just that, you know, creativity is nice. So when you do different, different things, it's not always that you stick to the same thing, you know. So at this point, I decided to um, experiment with other shapes. So I got this. Um, Biscuit cutters, um, other designs, flowers. Um, I also found some pancake molds, so love shapes, star shapes, and other things. Yeah, this is just to um, give you an idea of um, there's so many shapes you can get um, for your meat pie. And if you decide to make mini pies, you can do other beautiful designs. It doesn't have to be um, round all the time or maybe yeah if you have squares you can do them and yeah just try and experiment with other shapes and other things to make your meat pie or your cookies or something anything that you do unique and nice and beautiful you see i'll leave you to watch as i make different shapes and designs and i'll be back Here, our meat pie is baked. It's ready and look at the, look at the mini ones. They are so lovely. And these are the normal size ones, the big ones. And oh, look at that color. Look at the milk wash slash egg wash. I use evaporated milk, by the way, if I didn't mention it. Look at, look, look at the inside. Look at the filling. It's just delicious and amazing. It's just, oh. It's like, you know, I'm blowing my own horns, but just try it and leave a comment down below. Just, just try it. Give it a chance. There's no harm in trying, my sister, my brother. There is no, no harm in trying. Try something different and you see, you see what I'm talking about. And this is, it was lovely. I sat down with one chilled Coke. Oh, I enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed this um, meat pie. Try it and let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, like, and share. Yeah, God bless you. Bye.